Okay, new day, new video, and this time it's going to be the Vulture from Malfo. Vulture is Nicodemus Totem. I'm going to start off with the. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Stained Ivory 09142. So in Malifaux, totems are actually a subtype of model. They act as assistants to masters, which are the big leaders. And every master has their own totem, but there's also a faction totem that any master of that faction can use. Nicodem gets a vulture. all over the skull and spine. Here's the beak. Go ahead and do the bulk of the feathers, which are going to be shield brown, 09161. Oh, good grief. Had to stay upside down for a couple hours to get the paint into the nozzle, and it's still not gone. <laughs> I'll be restocking these pretty soon. Just have to do it this way. It's not ideal, but not all you can do when you got a nearly empty paint pot. You gotta be careful on some of these plastic models in general. Because, well, they look amazing. There is a bit of, of uh, fragility. Because now we can just see how tiny the legs on the vulture are. And it is moving a fair amount as I paint it. Actually, an uncomfortable amount. And the plasma might snap on the middle of this, so I gotta be. Really careful. Alright, that's got that. Uh, a little more around the base 
here on the 100% certain what this stuff around the spinal column this vulture's carrying is supposed to be, but I'm guessing dirt? Man, so there's room for interpretation on stuff like this. Then 09062 Leather White, that's going to go on the feathers at the base of the neck. I don't know There's another one that's almost completely empty. But I will be getting more paint this week, finally. Just had to wait on a paycheck. And we're going to use Rosie's skin for the flesh on the vulture. That's uh, 09068. Gonna be careful not to get any of this on the talons on the claws. Those will be the same ivory as the skull is gripping, just to match the beak. And normally I prefer to have different colors and areas that touch, or rather to be a little to uh, getting a little tongue-tied. Put in a way that isn't doesn't sound insane. to avoid having two separate areas of texture with different color with the same color adjacent to each other but I want the beak to match it just this color of bone seemed to be most appropriate for this. And that's it on base coats, but I think I can go ahead and start shading. So we'll start with that the, uh, beak and skull and claws, stained ivory 09142. I'm gonna make sure that gets on the claws.
get it all up along this skull and this spine that came from who knows who. And let it dry. Alright, back to the shading. shading. Gonna go with brown next. Wood stain brown, Okay, on to the white now. 09061 linen white. Just a bit of this around the scruff of the neck. enough to fix though. And now to finish up the shading with Rosy Shadow 09067. careful on the head trying to avoid the white. Okay, once that dries it's time to highlight. Dry enough to move on to highlights. 09144 Creamy Ivory, that's going to go on the beak, claws, and the skull and spine it's carrying. Yikes. A bit too much came out. I'm going to go ahead and do the eyes. Just a tiny bit of white. 
That's uh, 09039 pure white. Okay, now finish out the claws and skull. Okay, rosy highlight zero nine zero six nine. Make sure this is dry enough. And zero nine zero six three ghost white. How's this clogged? Really bad, really. Maybe that'll work. There we go. Then Driftwood Brown, 09162. Should be enough. And then a little bit of zero nine zero three seven pure black. This has a clogged nozzle as well.
very carefully we just dot pupils. Could be better, could be worse. And then leave green zero nine zero one one. That's another one that's almost empty. Getting a nice even coat. Get that chip out of there, wherever that came from. Okay, and now that just needs to dry, and then the flocking. Okay, now that all the paint's dry, finish up the facing. So, almost glue all. And again, there is a difference between the glue wall and the school glue. The school glue is easier to clean up, but the glue wall is overall stronger. Cannot honestly recommend using the school glue for this. And that happened. Still plenty of glue left. Read it. Let's get in and around the base there. And with the vulture, I elected to flock instead of sculpt a custom base because. He's Nicodemus totem, not got Nicodemus in the graveyard. That comes in the flock, get out the excess, and taking a dry one. Try to just dust off the areas it got onto that we don't want it on. It's good. About a minute to dry. Have to clean the brushes all weight. And scenic cement. This is a woodland scenic thing. Rip that in the eyedropper just like last time and every other time. That's got it. Let's run water through the eyedropper to clean it a little bit. And that is it. The vulture is done. Just needs to be varnished. So varnishing and I use an army painter matte varnish. It just helps seal the paint and prevents it from chipping, which is gonna happen as you play. Whether you want it or not. So continuing on next time with another model from the Nicodemus box set.